In this video we present X field. Implicit neural view light and time image interpolation. Given a set of captured images of a scene at different view positions and under changing light conditions while time is passing, we suggest interpreting such a set as a sampling of a high dimensional space we call X field. We provide a learned operator to interpolate smoothly within such a set of images. Each light view time configuration maps to a 3D coordinate, visualized to the right. Our method computes the image for this coordinate in real time. Let's look at a few X fields. Starting with time. In this example we captured a scene changing over time with three images only. A user is presented a 1D slider to explore this space. We here compare to a state-of-the-art method super slow-mo. We see our method produces more plausible and smoother motion and less ghosting. Next, we look into exploring different views. This shows one result of our method on the public data from Soft3D. Here the view space is two-dimensional, so the user is provided a continuous 2D widget scene right. The blue points denote the discrete input views, and the gray trajectory denotes the user's output choice. Here another scene from the same dataset. This is a light field scene from the Kalantari dataset, with a very sparse 2x2 two two input sampling explored using our method. The same scene using the method by Kalantari et al. Note the missing grass blade. Another recent method local light field fusion. Also missing the detail and with slight halos around foreground object. Here the ground truth. And our method again. Another dimension is changes of illumination. Here the scene is captured from a point light at different positions. This example captures five images. Here we show our result on a public relighting dataset from Deep Relighting. Note the sharp shadows and highlights undergoing plausible motion. Here a comparison to Deep Relighting. Note highlights and shadows appear blurry. Now flipping between deep relighting, hours and ground truth. The particular insight is that we first need to split the signal into irradiance and reflectance so that both can be moved independently. This is most clear for a shadow falling onto a texture background, as seen here. A single layer method, such as super slow-mo, will struggle for such input. We now show combined exploration of multiple dimensions. Note the parallax, changes of shadows and caustics, in response to changes in view time and light. More results, involving a melting object. A configurable chair. Note how changes of both shape and light correspond to changes in shadow. Our method is subject to a few limitations. In this scene, parts of the lamp post are visible in only one image. Our approach happens to glue such observations to the foreground. Our method also struggles in the scenes containing thin objects with large disparity. We envision our approach to be used in applications such as design exploration for architecture or exhibitions. A finite number of view time light configurations is captured and show in a consistent and continuous form, ready to explored by designers and clients as an X field.